Bill Beggs wrote six days a week on the front page. He changed the Miami News from a red-baiting newspaper to a liberal newspaper. He wrote more than 3,000 columns for the Miami News. The first concern is to be independent, to be free, to be able to state without any fear or any hesitation what you believe. This one person intersected with all these huge events. His newspaper broke the Cuban Missile Crisis story. He went to North Vietnam twice. He was nominated for the Nobel Prize. He was instrumental in helping Martin Luther King out of jail in 1960. He pushed for 18-year-olds being able to vote. Then he actually submitted one of the first ERA amendments. He was very clear that a paper wasn't even worth printing if you were seeking to be popular. He would talk about protecting the environment, desegregating public schools, peace in Vietnam. And for that, he was called a commie, a pinko, a traitor. We have bombed enough in North Vietnam to unify the people, but not enough to bring them to their knees. What Bill and I learned across the decades is that saving land in Florida was never simple. Every time I came out, I would learn a little bit more. Someone would say, oh, well, you know, he helped save the park because he wrote an editorial. People would come up to me and they would say to me, you know, he changed my mind on things. And now I understand why. It became sort of an obsession when I realized how necessary his story was to the times that we're living in right now.